The first thing you'll see when you walk into my office is this beautiful turquoise storage bench. You'll normally find Starbucks sleeping on it in the afternoons while I'm working, but I also like to use this bench for seating, and I also keep my purse and whatever magazines I'm reading currently out here. I also have some inspirational artwork and a mirror in my entranceway. The next thing you'll notice in my office is my metal bookcase. I just have some different trinkets and inspirational quotes and just some of my favorite pieces out here on this bookcase. One of my favorite pieces is this Cynthia Rowley trinket box that holds my glasses as well as my collection of beautiful boxes from Lottery and Kate Spade. I love saving beautiful boxes and reusing them as organization in my office. I think it's just an easy and beautiful way to add interest to a bookcase or an office space in general. I did purchase these Kate Spade nesting boxes online and I'll make sure to leave a link down below for you guys. These boxes just keep some extra stationary items that I want to have tucked away and these boxes look beautiful displayed out in this metal and glass bookcase. You'll also notice that I do keep magazines spread throughout my office. I just love magazines. They give me so much inspiration and I think they're an easy way to dress up an office. Now before we get to talking about my desk, I want to show you some things underneath my desk. For extra storage, I use a clear container from Ikea, and I also have a little pet bed here that is another one of Starbucks' favorite resting spots in my office. He loves to sit with me while I'm working, so I like to have a lot of places for him to cuddle up and relax. Now the wall beside my desk has my calendar, a beautiful peony art print, and whatever current designs I'm working on, as well as a large calendar whiteboard for me to plan out my posts and content. In order to utilize space in my office and keep the space fresh, I decided to place my desk in the center of the room instead of against the wall. This setup makes the office feel more professional to me and also allows me to get pop-up visits from my favorite little pup as well. I try to keep my desk as clutter-free as possible with just the necessities visible. One necessity I can't live without in my office is my iPhone and Audible account. I love to listen to books on tape while I'm working. If you're interested in checking out Audible, I'll go ahead and leave a special link down below where you can get two free audiobooks when you sign up for their free trial. I'd highly recommend it, and if you're looking for some good business book recommendations, I'll leave a link below as well. And of course, no desk is complete without your trusty planner, a pair of high quality headphones, and of course, your favorite beverages. I try to offset my coffee consumption with a big bottle of water. Here's a peek inside my desk drawers as well if you're interested. Now on to my credenza and gallery wall located behind my desk. Some of these art prints come from my printables shop and others were found in packs of gallery wall art from me and my big ideas. I'll try to link them down below. On the wall opposite of my desk, I have a hanging file system from Martha Stewart for Staples, as well as my brainstorm board. I have a video all about that board if you guys are interested, and I'll leave it linked down below. Time to take a peek inside my credenza. I keep a variety of different items inside my credenza. It's a wonderful storage option, and I actually purchased this one from Ikea. So I'll go ahead and leave a link down below if you guys are interested in it. 
It has a mix of shelving and drawers, and so I'm actually able to store so many things very efficiently inside of this credenza. Of course, I have an entire drawer with my planners inside of them, as you can see right now. But, you know, just typical office supplies stored in this credenza, in case you're curious to see inside. I also love this piece because it gives me so much extra counter space to display items and keep out things that are important, like my Charmed Life Planner for 2016. You guys will get a peek at that later this year. And I just keep out a lot of different makeup and accessories out on display, just some frequently accessed items, as well as my printer, of course. Now I want to share with you my top three tips for staying productive while you're working from home. This is something I'm asked about quite often and it's something I certainly struggled with when I first started working from home. So if you are a home-based worker trying to get a handle on your productivity while dealing with the distractions that come from working at home, I hope these tips help. Tip number one is to create a defined office space. This can be an entire room of your home or even a desk in your living room or bedroom. But having that defined office space where you work trains your brain to go into work mode when you enter that space. So no more working on your couch or from your bed. If you're struggling with productivity, you need a defined office space. Tip number two is to set a consistent work schedule. It may seem so fun not to have to wake up super early in the morning to get ready for work and a long commute, but that's no excuse to oversleep and get a poor start to the day. Setting consistent work hours will help you define your workday much better, and you can even build in time into your day to take care of personal items like chores or meal prep that may seem like a complete distraction to a work from home newbie. Also make sure to set a firm end date for your workday. Just because your home is your office doesn't mean you can work all night long. Tip number three is to connect with other home-based workers so that you don't get lonely at home. This is especially important if you work for yourself and don't have employees. I recently created my Facebook group, The Charmed Biz Collective, as a place for me to connect with other entrepreneurs and small business owners to talk and share advice. So if you're looking to find a tribe to connect with, I'd love for you to join. The link will be down below. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. I have one final thing that I wanted to share with you all today, some charmed office inspiration you can use in your planner. This is my new set of printable stickers available in my shop called the Charmed Office Essentials. This is a two-page PDF filled with organizational, inspirational, and decor designs to help you maximize your time in the office. This collection is very strange and charmed with lots of my signature turquoise, which is a female power color for business if you didn't already know, plus my signature black and white stripes, white marble, and my favorite tech gadgets. This set is now available in my shop and you'll find a direct link down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me any questions in the comments. And of course, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye